Okay, hey guys, what's up? Li Ming is back with another video and today I invited my Shuaigua friend here, Hao Peng Yu, Luke, also known as Da Jiang. Yeah. Uh, nice to see you guys and I had fun getting to know you on Lena's first video where you saw me dancing. If you don't remember, check it out. It's in the link <laughs> down here. Um, it's not. I just made that up. <laughs> But anyway, uh, yeah, so we're going to talk about some fun stories, starting with me or you? Me. Go. Okay, so I'm just going to explain to you guys what we're going to talk about today. We are going to talk about the problems that happens when you are dating uh, a foreigner, somebody from another place, and in this case, it's China. Surprise, surprise. 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 Jing <laughs> Shi. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, I came up with this idea because a while ago I saw a Chinese guy for a bit and then one day I was talking to my Shuyo and I was kind of like Bao Yuan a little bit because I said to her, you know, when we're doing stuff, I have a problem. I kind of have to stop him and be like, I'm sorry, what do you mean? Um, this is kind of awkward when you're intimate. And uh, yeah, after this, she actually sent me a picture from a book she had taken where it said like intimacy vocabulary in Chinese, uh, which included like, <laughs> which included like, go tiger and keep it down a bit. And I don't like it there. And it was really awkward. Go tiger, <laughs> go. Go. Um, so I thought I would like to ask my friend here how he had experienced this when dating uh, the beautiful Chinese menu. Well, uh, there are lots of Chinese menu and uh, I met one of them and I was preparing to go on a date with her and as I was heading over to the date, I was <laughs> taking the subway, I was actually thinking of cute things that I could tell her, like, you know, um, your hair is so beautiful or whatever. Just just a bunch of cute things that would be perfect at the right moment to say. Um, and so I was actually looking up my f looking up the words on my dictionary application, Plico, which is an amazing app, by the way, for anyone who's learning Chinese. So I was checking it out and I was, uh, you know, just trying to figure out just the perfect words to say in just all these situations that I was planning <laughs> in my head for this date. And uh, I was rehearsing and all that. And when I finally met the girl, uh, when the moment came, I completely forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it was so embarrassing because, like, I, I was like so confident. I was like, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then it, was, it just didn't come out. So, uh, practice beforehand. Give yourself more time to learn key vocabulary when it comes to dating. Maybe even write a list, or maybe like invite your Chinese friend first, and then try <laughs> try it out. So, uh, like this. Ni hao, shuai ge. And then you can go like that, yeah. Mm, there yes, there we go. Although so, that's not very romantic, that's no, just regular. That was basic actually talk. very regular. Yeah, very, yeah. very regular. Can you come up with like a super romantic thing to say? Like, for instance, one of the cheng <laughs> that I learned recently is Tian Sheng Li Zhi. Ah, which means a natural beauty. Wow. Uh, by the way, I don't know where I should look. Should I look here or there? You should look in the lens. In the lens. Okay, yes. sorry guys, I've been looking <laughs> at something else, but I'm looking at you now. <laughs> He's very serious okay, so, about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Tian Sheng which means a natural beauty. And uh, if you really think that someone's beautiful, uh, this, this Cheng though is reserved for women usually. Uh, women don't say it to men, because <laughs> women never compliment men. I don't know why. But that's what it is. Uh, that's the life that we try, live. Though. Come try. on, try it. Try that's is true. always true. used. Anyways, guys, so <laughs> the second thing that is a problem here with interracial uh, dating is that if you're dating in the other language, uh, we usually date in Chinese, right? Uh -huh. You usually date in Chinese, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so Luke is very strong in Chinese, and uh, I just like to speak Chinese. Um, so we talked about this. Uh, one problem is that if you're arguing, <laughs> or if you're like trying to explain your feelings or emotions this this can kind of turn into an, a very awkward situation yeah. um, a little bit like what did you, you told me that 
she always wins, right? Yeah, it's just like, you know, when you're <laughs> when you're arguing with someone, like, you're obviously at a disadvantage. You're not going to win because you don't have the vocabulary. What if you want to, like, swear at them or you want to use just the right thing and yeah. why'd you treat me that way? Yeah. You know, like, you have to think and then it just doesn't come out and then she always ends up winning, in my case, or he always ends up winning in her case. Yeah. I tried that with feelings as well, you know, I wanted to explain how I felt and he was just like, <laughs> um, Shaiza. Yeah, but, <laughs> what? But then, okay, I'm sorry, I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, That's one so of the other problems. lots of headaches, <laughs> lots of headaches in the world of dating in Chinese. But in the end, I would say that it's, it's, it's worth it, you know, yeah. it's, it's fun, especially if you find someone who's, who's patient. That is a very key <laughs> element for people who want to yeah. live uh, date with foreigners. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Chinese people who want to date foreigners, patience, you know. Yeah. Um, but Especially it's, it's if nice. it's in Chinese, if you date in Chinese. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's definitely patience is very important. <laughs> On the flip side, though, your Chinese is going to improve astronomically. It's just going to really skyrocket yes. as you practice every day. Yes. So yeah. if you come to China and you're serious about learning Chinese, Find a sweetheart. A shuaigo or a menu. <laughs> That's uh, just uh, a few wise words from us here at Chuang Mei Da So, Luke, thank you guys. No, thank you. Yep. Not guys. guys. Thank guys. you guys for There's being multiple here. multiple Lukes out there, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just one of them. I'm saying thanks to Luke <laughs> and I'm th saying thanks to you guys uh, for watching our little uh, chit chat here. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to join again one day? I don't know. It depends on the public. You are the ones that get to decide whether I survive on this channel or not. So am I hot or am I not? <laughs> Bye guys! Please, please comment below and let us know and have a great day, evening wherever you are in the world and I'll see you again very very soon. Ling Ling and Luke is out. See you and zai jian! Zai jian! Bye bye! <laughs> Okay. Okay. Bring this up a little bit. Hey, guys! <laughs> no! I thought it was actually really... We should just stand like closer to it, actually. Me, 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 me. Okay. Okay. Damn it. Why is your head so... <laughs> Hi, everybody! <laughs> Come closer. Can you see my forehead? No. Ah, oh, fuck. That was even worse. <laughs> that was even worse. Even <laughs> Gosh. You didn't know that? No, but I used to be... If I got be... closer, my head would get even cut off. Even yeah, more. but I just like cut off my Damn, top. Damn, this is a handsome boy. Ooh. This is beautiful girl. Okay. Gosh, yeah, is that better? <laughs> That's better. Okay, just stand a little bit and like, just lean, like, lean a little bit on one of your legs. No, I want to look taller than you. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's tough. It's tough. Stand. Take care, because it's really unstable. It's really unstable. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Ah! Okay, okay, don't touch it. Boom. Ah, Boom. Makes me nervous. Boom. <clears throat> Let's do it.